821 day fasting and prayer devotional by the City Gate Church Mountain up growing up into fullness Day 5 Walking worthy of our vocation Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 11 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 to 13 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 Our ultimate vocation as believers is to witness to or profess eternal life which is the hope and promise of the gospel Titus 1 verse 2 1 John chapter 2 verse 25 However, the faces or landmarks of this vocation in our growth process as believers. The mysteries of the kingdom as highlighted in Colossians chapter 2 verse 2. That is Christ, the Father and God. A whole levels of vocation that begins with Christ, which is life. to the father everlasting life then to god which is eternal life we must first flourish and prosper in the vocation of christ and that of the father to be able to profess eternal life which is a reward to those that have served the cause of life and everlasting life His soul must first be made wise by the knowledge of Christ to be able to work worthy unto all pleasing in the vocation of Christ. Fruitfulness is the end product of knowledge and understanding is key for the prospering of our souls. A barren soul in the knowledge of Christ can't increase in the knowing of God. The Lord is granting even more grace to be fruitful in the knowledge of Christ so as to fully partake in the feast of everlasting life. Prayers. 1. Lord, we pray to be filled with the knowledge of your will in this season. We give attention to obedience of the light of Christ well. Lord we pray to be filled with the knowledge of your will in this season we give attention to obedience of the light of Christ well Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 11 2 we pray for more entrance and understanding of our heavenly vocation and our submission to live in accordingly we pray for more entrance and understanding of our heavenly vocation and our submission to live in accordingly Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 to 2 3 Lord I pray for grace to you to the light of everlasting life as it is being published let my art be established in abundant grace lord i pray for grace to you to the light of everlasting life as it is being published let my art be established in abundant grace second peter chapter 3 verse 18 shalom